Hello everyone. Today we will see a new topic of weighting maths which is subtraction. The method of subtraction which you must have learned till now is borrowing which you must have been taught in classrooms. But there are some very basic and easy concepts in weighting maths which will help you do subtraction faster than the conventional method. So today I will introduce to you these basic concepts which will help you do these calculations faster than a calculator. The first basic concept is match and mismatch combination. So in order to do the subtraction, you must be able to identify whether the given pair is a match or a mismatch combination. I will show you what it is. 7 minus 3. It is as you know a natural subtraction. 7 is a larger number and 3 is a smaller number. So 7 is greater than 3. These kinds of subtractions are called match combinations. These kind of subtractions are called max subtraction or natural subtractions. Then the answer is 7 minus 3, 4. One more example of max combination. 5 minus 2. The first number is bigger than the second number. So the answer is simple, it is 3. And this is also an example of match combination. This is an example of a mismatch combination because as you can see 5 is less than 9. The number, oh, the first number is less than the second number. 5 is less than 9. So this is called a mismatch combination. This is a mismatch combination. Another example is 2 minus 8. So this is again a mismatch combination because 2 is less than 8. We are not going to deal with single digit mismatch combination. This is for example I showed you a combination like this. These kind of combinations we will see in subtractions when there are two or more digits. For example, see the subtraction. The first step is to identify which of the pairs are match combinations and which are mismatch combinations. Even in subtraction, we will be moving from left to right just like addition. We will be moving from left to right like this. So the first step is to take the first pair and see whether it's a mismatch or a match combination. So the first pair 5 minus 3. The first number is bigger than the second number. So it's a match combination. Moving again to the next pair. 2 minus 8. The first number is less than the second number. So this is an example of mismatch combination. And the third pair, the final pair. Again, it is an example of match combination because the first number is greater than the second number. So this is a match combination. So the first step is to always identify whether each pair is a match or a mismatch combination. Now the question is how to deal with 2 minus 8. Now comes the second basic concept which you should be thought of to do subtractions which is 
complements there is something called complements for each single digit number from 1 to 9 for each single digit number from 1 to 9 there will be a complement i'll tell you what complement is for example if you take the number 1 What should be added to one to get ten? One plus what equal to ten? We know one plus nine is equal to ten. Correct? One plus nine is equal to ten. So the complement of one is nine, and vice versa also. Complement of nine is one. Two plus what will give you ten? Two plus what will give you ten? We know two plus eight equal to ten. Two plus eight equal to ten. So the complement of two is eight. And the complement of eight is two. Complement of one is nine. Complement of one is nine. So I'm going to put an arrow here also, like this, which means complement of nine is one. Similarly, complement of two is eight. And the complement of eight is two. Similarly, complement of three is seven, and the complement of seven is three. Complement of four is six, and the complement of six is four. And last complement of five is five itself. So, as you can see, complement of one is nine, and the complement of nine is one. Similarly, this. So, this is the second basic concept you should be very thorough of. So, the basics of subtraction are these two concepts: match and mismatch combination. And complements. If you are very thorough with this, subtraction will be very very easy, which we will discuss in the next video. Thank you.